As someone who has suffered from eczema for years, I want to give you a remedy that I found out about quite late. This simple remedy is a bleach bath. Over time, I stopped believing that any topical treatment makes sense, so I was a bit skeptical when I heard about it. My first thoughts were like, bleach on the skin? Are you crazy? Why should this work? However, after doing extensive research, I realized that it makes sense. So what exactly is a bleach bath? Bleach is a chemical solution that is widely used for cleaning and disinfecting purposes. It's commonly made up of sodium hypochlorite and water, although there are various types of bleach available on the market, such as hydrogen peroxide. Now it's important to remember that sodium hypochlorite is the primary ingredient used to treat eczema symptoms. Sodium hypochlorite is used not only in dermatology. NaOCl has been used in medicine as a topical antiseptic in many applications, such as for the treatment of burns, wounds, and ulcers, or for cleaning the root canal system in endodontics. Most of the current treatments for atopic dermatitis have limited effectiveness, negative side effects, or are expensive. Among the activities supporting the treatment of atopic dermatitis, hypochlorite baths deserve special attention. You can easily make a bleach bath at home. When did bleach baths become popular for treating eczema? The concept of using bleach to treat skin conditions was first introduced during World War I, when soldiers were given bleach baths to prevent infection of battlefield wounds. The topic may have gained traction in 2009, when a study published in the journal Pediatrics suggested that bathing in a diluted bleach solution could help relieve the symptoms of atopic dermatitis. They found that bleach baths could be an effective way to reduce the severity of atopic dermatitis and manage the symptoms of eczema. Why do bleach baths work for eczema? If you have eczema, you may be more likely to have the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus living on your skin and have increased risk of staph infections. According to studies, approximately 10% of the general population is colonized on the skin with staph bacteria. Among people with eczema, that number jumps to nearly 90%. Staphylococcus aureus infection is related to the pathogenesis of eczema and atopic dermatitis. Nobody knows why people with eczema are more likely to be colonized with staph, but differences in the skin barrier may play a role. To make matters worse, staph can produce byproducts that interfere with the skin's defenses and cause increased inflammation. In some cases, staph infections can cause the eczema to become more severe and difficult to control. Staph infections can also cause additional skin symptoms like crusting, oozing, and painful lesions. Bleach baths are one method that can be used to reduce the risk of staph infections by decreasing the number of bacteria on the skin and preventing further infection. Properties of Sodium Hypochlorite Sodium hypochlorite has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties that simply kill staph, fungus, and other pathogens. By soaking in a bleach bath, these properties can help to alleviate the symptoms of eczema and promote healthy skin. Is it safe to take a bleach bath? It's a completely safe method of treatment, provided that we maintain the appropriate concentration of sodium hypochlorite in the water. The second factor affecting safety is the temperature of the water. Water that is too hot causes the sodium hypochlorite chemical to break down faster and become airborne, which can irritate the respiratory system. In addition, Make sure that the bleach bath takes place in a bathroom that has a window or adequate ventilation. Exposure to the smell of bleach can make asthma worse. Are bleach baths safe for babies with eczema? Bleach baths should be used with caution for babies with eczema. It is best to consult with a pediatrician or dermatologist before trying bleach baths for babies. What is the effectiveness of bleach baths in reducing the severity of atopic dermatitis? Several studies have shown that bleach baths can be effective in reducing the severity of atopic dermatitis. This 2022 systematic review and meta-analysis of 307 patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis provides evidence that bleach baths reduce clinician-reported severity by a relative 22%. One in 10 will likely improve severity by 50%. In addition, there is an improvement in the quality of life. Success stories of bleach baths are also widely reported among eczema patients who have found relief from itching, redness, and other symptoms. What's more, 
These baths show clinical effectiveness in all age groups, both in children and adults. What benefits have I experienced after bleach baths? Reduced itching. When eczema took over most of my body, the nights were the worst. I scratched my skin while sleeping every night. Bleach baths significantly reduced itching, resulting in better sleep. Faster skin healing. When I took a bleach bath in the evening, I woke up with better and more healed skin in the morning. The first reason for this is less itching, and the second is that it rids the skin of pathogenic bacteria that aggravate atopic skin. More hydrated and less irritated skin. My skin became less red and felt more hydrated and smooth after taking a bleach bath. Bleach bath recipe? How to use bleach baths to help manage eczema flares? This is step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a bleach bath for eczema. 1. Fill a bathtub with warm water. The water temperature should be comfortable and not too hot, as hot water can further irritate eczema-prone skin. 2. Add bleach to the water. The recommended concentration for a bleach bath is typically one-half U.S. cup of regular strength, 6%, sodium hypochlorite bleach per 40 gallons of water. 3. Mix the bleach into the water thoroughly with your hand. 4. Soak in the bath for 10, 15 minutes, making sure that all affected areas of the skin are submerged. 5. Rinse off with warm water after the bath. 6. Pat your skin dry gently with a towel. It is important to moisturize the skin immediately after the bath to lock in moisture and prevent dryness. You can repeat the baths two, three times a week. How to calculate the proportion of bleach in the bath? Adding too much bleach can irritate your skin. However, adding too little may not be beneficial. So how much bleach do you put in a bath for staff? The final concentration of sodium hypochlorite should be around 0.005%. What is the amount of bleach in milliliters? Add 10 milliliters of regular strength, 5%. Bleach per every 10 liters of water. Water temperature. The water temperature for a bleach bath should be close to body temperature, warm, but not hot. Ideally, the water should be about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 37 degrees Celsius. It's important to avoid using water that is too hot, as it can cause skin irritation and discomfort. Additionally, using water that is too cold may reduce the effectiveness of the bleach bath. In what form and where can I buy bath bleach? You can buy sodium hypochlorite in various forms. Sodium hypochlorite is typically sold as a concentrated liquid, which can be diluted to the appropriate concentration for a bleach bath. Sodium hypochlorite soap can also be found in some countries. Liquid bleach is often available at hardware stores, pool supply stores, and some grocery stores. You will also find it online. It's important to read the label carefully to ensure that the product is safe for use in a bleach bath. You need to check two things. Check the concentration first. It can vary from 4% to 12.5% depending on the product. Second, no other additives, just sodium hypochlorite. Should I rinse off after a bleach bath? Yes, rinse off with warm water after a bleach bath to remove any residue from the bleach. Drying off with a soft towel and moisturizing immediately after the bath can help prevent dryness and irritation. Things to remember. Do not use excessively hot or cold water. Do not use undiluted bleach and never apply bleach directly to your eczema. Do not add any other products or ingredients to the bath. Do not soak for longer than 15 minutes. Do not submerge your head or face under the water. Do consult with your healthcare provider first before trying a bleach bath or giving one to your child for the first time. Conclusion Bleach baths can be a cheap and effective way to manage the symptoms of eczema including reducing the severity of atopic dermatitis and treating staph infections. If you want to cure your eczema permanently, you need to eliminate the root cause. Now click the link in the description below and check out Eczema Secrets, the latest book that will help you find the trigger and heal your skin for good.